So look who we just found. We were putting some cat food out for the stray cat outside, and I looked down at my feet, and I found this guy. Oh, there he goes. He's like, nope, I don't want to be on camera. I don't want hundreds of people to see me. But we need them to see you so I can teach them about whatever little toad that you are. This is definitely a toad. I have no idea what kind, so I will look up some more information about him. But he is pretty darn cute. And very red. I have never seen such a red toad before, but that's probably because I, I'm new to North Carolina. All the toads in Missouri, they were pretty much green. Oh, he's so cute. And he actually made some noise at me. So I don't want to harass him too much, but I'm going to see if I can pick him up again and get him to chirp at me again. Probably like a, a warning chirp, a little, little bit like, hey, leave me alone. Leave me alone, weird lady. But hi, look at you. We think that maybe he was outside eating some of the slugs that we've got outside. I don't know if that's true, because I have no idea what he eats. But we had a tremendous rainstorm this afternoon, and that's when this guy showed up. Uh, late tonight. It's like almost midnight, actually. In fact, I think it is midnight. We were just putting some food out for that stray kitty, and here comes this little toad. And it's really cute. Like I said, very, very red compared to the ones I'm used to seeing. So let me see if I can get it again. I'm sorry, little one. Oop. Yep, I know. Hoppity hop. Oh dear. I'm breaking my umbrella plant. I know. Hang on. Oop, oop, oop. Oh, here we go. I know. I know. I'm so sorry. I have never heard a toad make noise before. Hang on. It's okay. I'm not going to hurt you. I know, I know, you don't know that. You think I'm going to eat you. Listen to you. You actually talk. So, this is a pretty good sized toad. As you can see, it's filling up the palm of my hand. Whoop. I know. <laughs> and it is not in the mood to play. I don't blame it. But I'll try to get a little bit more video of it. In fact, one second. Oh, Toad, come back. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, hang on. It's hard to record and chase a Toad at the same time. Oh, I'm sorry, little one. Look at you. I'm going to have to find out what you've been eating. I'm not going to harass it much longer, but I will add a little bit more video and some more information about... Oh, look at that blink! About what kind of Toad it is. This is just another example of always keep your eyes peeled because this is just right on our apartment front porch. And yet it's an awesome little example of the wildlife that's native to this area that I've never seen before. So if you're really passionate about wildlife, or you're really passionate about learning about biology, it's just a matter of keeping your eyes peeled because you never know when you're going to find something. So we'll get a little bit more video of this little one. Look at that throat go. And then I'm going to let it go back outside so I don't stress it out too much. And, of course, wash my hands thoroughly after I'm done uh, done handling it. Oh, I know. I know. So, after a little more research, I figured out that this is most likely an American toad. They're common here in North Carolina and are actually the biggest toad in the entire state. They come in a wide variety of colors. This particular one is this beautiful, bright brick red coloring, but there can also be brown, gray, olive green, or tan American toads. Usually the males are smaller than the females, so I think we may perhaps have a female on our hands here. The American toads live throughout the mountain area of the state and a little bit on the coastal zone, and they really love woodland pools and wetlands, none of which are common around our apartment, but I think this little girl may be from a creek that is near our apartment complex. During the summer, we have a lot of storms and rain, and that rain fills the creek up, which would make a perfect home for these toads and all of the bugs that they love to eat. In fact, these toads are considered a vital part of the economy due to how many bugs they eat, which really helps keep down disease and helps to keep down any agricultural pests that might be eating crops around here. We have a lot of small farms, so I can imagine these American toads are very useful for the locals. And by sitting on our doorstep, this particular toad may have been feasting on the slugs that come out at night to eat the leftover cat food, and it may have been helping to eat all the bugs that are going after my tomato and herb plants. So go, little toad, go! 
And a fun fact about these toads is that they will eat pretty much anything they can fit in their mouths, including the huge leopard slugs we have in our yard, up to six or seven inches long. If the prey is too big to swallow right away with its sticky tongue, then the toad will actually use its arms to stuff the food further in its mouth. So we're gonna have to keep an eye out to see if this little girl is stuffing her mouth with slugs another night. <laughs>